Hello everybody and welcome back from Ontario, Canada. Hope everybody is doing very groovy. And thank you for com for coming back here and checking out the part two of my brush on gel nail set. So I thought now I would decorate them for New Year's. That's a very simple but easy design. So what I started out doing was I made these little bows out of that 3d modeling clay and i just find this clay or it's not clay it's gel so you can play with it and play with it until you're ready to nuke it and then it's perfect my bows did come out a little bit on the thick side but it was trial and error and i think they turned out great for my first shot so i'm going to be doing a white and gold design with some glitter and the 3D bows that I made and I just um, put glitter over top of those so they matched with the glitter that I'm going to put on my nails. So I'm just starting out with a couple pieces of tape on each finger so that I could put some, yeah, and I decided to change the tape because that clear tape was not helping me see where I needed it to go. So I used the duct tape and it works perfectly so what i just did was i put some tape on my nails and then i'm going to put some clear polish right in between the tape and then dip each finger aside from the ring finger into the glitter itself and this is such an easy design anybody especially for beginners you'll definitely be able to do this design it's very easy and and i think the outcome looks fantastic i thought it was a beautiful design and it takes like very little time to do it just waiting for everything to dry so yeah just dipping and dipping until i get Sometimes, you know, you got to dip it a couple of times because it doesn't get where you need it to go. And sometimes it gets a little clumpy, but no issues. That's what a little brush is for to wipe it off. Those little fan brushes work fantastic for glitter. And don't mind my little SpongeBob paper here. My son loves SpongeBob. So a lot of my stuff in the, in the house is either SpongeBob or Pokemon. Of course. And I'd say that. So the last finger for the little gold design is the thumb and just dipping that in there. Make sure that I get all the coverage that I need. And sometimes, especially it's a little difficult trying to roll your finger there. So just got to make sure that you get it all this, whatever, however you want it and that you like it the way. It and then there we go. I think everything's dried now. So now we can just pull the tape off and sorry. Yeah, that's my big fat hand in the way. I apologize. But then you got this cute little stripe of gold glitter down your nail. So the white was already done for us when I did the brush on nail tips. They were fantastic. I just love those. I just wish they came a little bit longer, but for the first time, I think it went excellent. I'm just still trying to get used to these short nails. So there. I think it turned out cute. So now what I'm going to do is that white nail polish there. I'm going, well, aside from dusting off the excess glitter, I'm going to kind of outline that, the glitter that I've just put down with some white stripes along the side. So it kind of pop makes it pop a little bit more I think they turned out sweet you mean you can even leave it like that if you like you know some of them are a little bit off center which is okay you know the very first time I'm trying this design you know especially with the tape it was kind of giving me a little bit of grief I'm just gonna blame it on the tape <laughs> so on a little back backing of uh, nail forms. I just got some white set down there. And I'm going to stripe just along the sides of the glitter there to make it pop a little bit more. And this brush, I kind of um, created my own because the bristles were very, very long and very, and I couldn't control it. So I kind of got rid of all bristles except for maybe two. And it works very, very awesome for putting down fine, fine lines. Because I have such an issue with trying to draw fine lines with 
with nail polish and this brush seems to do it for me. Mind you, I did only leave two hairs on there, so <laughs> I didn't give it any choice, but it does work fantastic. And if you mess up, you know, you can always a little bit of acetone or nail polish remover and clean up those little lines and you're, you're, you're laughing. But yeah, this is my non-dominant hand, so I have to concentrate a little bit more than I would if I was doing my opposite hand. That's why I always like to challenge myself. So every time I do my nails from now on, I always do my non-dominant hand first to get the hard part out of the way. And then the next hand is the easy hand and I don't have to worry about concentrating so hard. And sometimes my non-dominant hand turns out better than my other hand, which is kind of weird. But yeah, maybe I should try concentrating both on both hands instead of just on my non-dominant hand. But it happens. There is very little cleanup in this step because the lines came out pretty, pretty well. Maybe a couple of little tweaks here and there, but aside from that, they turned out fantastic. And the last line. Sometimes I mess it up and put it over the glitter and then it makes the line not so crisp. So you just got to watch that when you're uh, putting the nail polish on that you don't actually go over top of the glitter because it will mess up your line and it's very frustrating. So now that that's all dry, yeah, I think it looks stunning with it, that white popping the, the glitter out there. So now I'm just going to take that little bow that I uh, pre-made with the glitter and I don't use uh, nail glue when I've got something that big to put on because it just doesn't stay or it'll snap off like right away or I'll catch on everything. So what I do is I take a, a nice little bead of clear acrylic and I fasten it down with the clear acrylic and kind of just tuck it all into the sides too so that it, uh, it fits nicely and it's just, just not going to pop off with the next couple of hours or something like that. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just preparing my uh, monomer and my clear acrylic so I can get a little bead and put it down so that I can get my bow to, to sit properly. And because these are actually a little bit shorter nails than I'm used to, the bow takes up quite a bit of room on the nail. But that's okay because I still turned out really cute. See what I mean when I, it was a little bit thicker than I wanted it to be, but the bow actually, for the very first time of me using that modeling gel, it was fantastic and I have no complaints. It's just me having to practice a little bit more to get it perfected the way I like it. But, you know, aside from that, it turned out fantastic. The bow stuck on, it pops. So now you just need to put like a little bit of a top coat on and... There you go, you've just perfected the design. Now, you can also add some like um, wavy sashes to the bottom of your bow if your nails are a little bit longer, and you can do them still with these nails. Just I haven't, um, I didn't put that part down yet because I wasn't sure how it was going to look. And plus, I'm very messy with glitter, so glitter gets everywhere. So I just figured I'd keep it very minimal. But it still looks really, really cute. And I, I love how this set of nails turned out, including the design. And actually, for the most part, I was in focus for a lot of the time. So I'm actually quite impressed with that myself. Because normally, sometimes I'm totally off focus and you have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm getting better, I'm getting better. A little more top coat on the thumb. And I think that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. And please tag me if you do decide to do it. And I would like to wish everybody a very happy and safe new year. Bye for now. And don't forget, 
stay groovy. Cheers.